this new report, uh, which has uh, been confirmed by CNN and other outlets, it's coming in the same you know within the same 24 hours of everything shifting, and this idea that hey, maybe this was created in a lab by China, and that that's not a conspiracy theory. That's a theory that we need to investigate. Well, the State Department was investigating it. And the investigation was shut down. It was shut down, uh, Rick, right before they were about to uh, issue their report. What did, you know, you were the acting director of national intelligence. You were the ambassador to Germany. What's going on here? Well, first of all, let's just remind everybody that last summer, the uh, intelligence agencies, IC-wide, agreed on a statement which has never been updated since. And the media and the public need to understand that this statement is the last intelligence community-wide statement, which says that this virus, COVID-19, started in China and that it either started in a lab or in the wet markets, but the language that we settled on instead of calling it the wet markets is uh, animal to human transmission. It, it gets a little bit detailed on why we had to call it that, but it, it basically is either the wet markets or the lab. That information has not been updated, but I can tell you that the IC constantly is looking to figure out what was the exact origin, where did it start, and why did it start? We haven't had an IC statement, IC wide statement since last summer. And I think that what the media and the Washington types need to focus on is what do our intelligence agencies know? How come they haven't updated us on this? Where is the information that we know to be true? That is going to answer a lot of questions. And part and parcel to this is that the State Department was investigating. Other intelligence agencies were also investigating. Why aren't they coming forth? Abril Haynes, the director of national intelligence, needs to come forward and give us an update. She needs to tell us. This information in the media right now uh, is information we knew last year, but nobody wanted to talk about it because we had an election and they didn't want to help Donald Trump. So, I mean, I'm reading, Rick, directly from the, the CNN article, and this, but this, this just piqued my interest because it said the decision to terminate the State Department inquiry was made after the Biden officials were briefed on the draft findings. I mean, that makes you have to wonder right away that they didn't like where this was going. They didn't like where the investigation was leading, where the facts, where where the intelligence was taking the investigators who were part of, again, these were, they were put in place by Mike Pompeo, but they weren't like, they weren't, these weren't political appointees. They were still just carrying out their job at the State Department, putting forward the information to the Biden team. And it just sounds like the Biden team didn't like what the findings were. But, but this is why that I'm trying to, to put the onus on the intelligence community, because let's be honest, the State Department is not going to be able to come up with the greatest and the latest information when it comes to the Wuhan lab. We're going to find this information out from other agencies, not the State Department. But this is very suspect, because if the State Department was looking and deciding that they were on to something, why were they shut down? Now, the answer very well could be that others in the intelligence community had better opportunities to find the truth and were looking and able to find the truth and that they wanted to tilt away from the State Department. But that only creates uh, more of an argument for Avril Haynes and the IC to come forward and tell us what they know. If you're gonna shut down the State Department operation, well, who is investigating and what do we know? Well, you know, the, it's interesting to me, though, that they, they say their reason for shutting down this investigation, though, was because of they had questions about the legitimacy of the findings and an ineffective use of resources. Now, to me, as a, someone who's been practicing law for 40 years, I look at that and say, no, wait a minute. Are, are you really saying that you don't like the findings? And we're not going to let this continue because the findings are going to cut totally against the narrative that they had in play here. That, that very well could be the case, but it also could be that they knew something else through better sourcing and they didn't want the State Department to take the lead. They wanted it to be more legitimate. Look, there's a whole bunch of questions here. Yeah. And that's why we got to go back to the fact that the IC through Avril Haynes needs to come forward and answer some questions. 
the, the role of Congress is big here. We need to have our congressional leaders asking these questions. Why shut down one investigation? The only answer that's acceptable is that we have better information in another angle. Now, I can tell you that the IC does have better uh, information than what the State Department can provide. So let's come forward and get that information. Let's give transparency a chance here. And, uh, you know, the Biden team from the beginning has been uh, playing politics with the with the IC, with the intelligence community. You look at what they did on the Khashoggi report. That was outrageously political. You look at what they're doing now in recruitment, outrageously political. So all of these, you know, propagandists in Washington, D.C. who constantly talk about politicizing intelligence, I don't see any of them talking about the politicization right now of uh, the Biden administration's intelligence community and what they're doing to, to, to find the truth and the right information. Rick, I, I would ask this, so because you point to like the, the intelligence community needs to be investigating this, but we have been told at least publicly, at least that's the line from the White House, is that they aren't investigating it unilaterally. They're, they're not going to, the U.S. is not going to investigate this so do you believe that they're based off those statements from like Jin Saki that it has to be international, that it has to be the World Health Organization? Do you think that the intelligence community in the U.S. at this point, are they do you think all these investigations have been shut down by the do you think we're just learning about this one and then we're going to learn that they've all been shut down? No, look, I, I think we're 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 focusing on the word investigation uh, and some sort of formal process. If you read the last DNI statement, which is an IC wide statement from last summer, at the very end it says, We, the intelligence community, will continue looking at this information to figure out where COVID came from, how it came from, because it's a national security issue. And what, that's what we do. The intelligence community is constantly doing this, whether the Biden White House wants to do an investigation or not. We employ a whole bunch of people at intelligence agencies who are looking and who know a lot more information than what we have from than last summer. Last summer was the public statement, but we have a disinterested media group in Washington to figure out what's been updated since then. Either they're asking the questions and they're finding really bad answers and they want to cover up for the ruling party or they're not asking the questions. Lastly, let me just say, it's a total joke to think that somehow the UN, the World Health Organization, right. is gonna do any investigation. The Chinese control the WHO. We know this, the intelligence community knows this, the Germans know this, the Europeans know this. This is a joke to think that the, the WHO is going to lead any type of investigation leading to transparency. Yeah, when I saw that the, 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 the Joe Biden and Jinsaki said we want an international community-led investigation, not one led by the United States, I, 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 it's immediately what I thought of. Rick, thanks for being with us as always, and thanks for your insight. We'll be sending you a couple of documents to look at this afternoon, folks, as part of our team. Uh, look, what Rick said is absolutely correct. This is, this is serious stuff. And we have to get to the source. And that the ACLJ, we're doing just that. FOIA requests going out this, uh, I don't know if we'll go out this afternoon, but we'll go out by tomorrow once we get Rick and others' comments. Thank you much, Rick. And again, support the work of the ACLJ, aclj.org.